question was asked again. <laughs> what inspired you to, uh, what inspired artists to, uh, to paint? It could be anything, really. In my case, you, you, well, it could be anything. It could be any object, something that found uh, a picture you take. Uh, say, a picture I took. A picture that I saw, i seen someplace. Uh, someone say something that could inspire you to, you know, to encourage you enough to think about it that you end up uh, sketching, you know, it gives you an idea for a drawing, maybe, uh, some kind of sketch, which eventually works up into, uh, you know, it works up into a drawing. And from there, um, a painting. Because I can say most of the work that I'm doing, I'm talking about non-commissioned work, uh, non-commercial work. When you're doing something commercial for someone or for a client, that's a whole different story because, you, you know, you probably, you got to satisfy your customer because they're the one that's putting out the money to do it. So that's something that... Uh, yeah, that's what we have. That's what we deal with. That was the next thing that happened. I knew the piece was too heavy. Because actually it's a wood panel. It's a... You can see it's a crate of a wine uh, piece. And I took a pass until I found it. And uh, then I saw a picture on Facebook, of course. In this case, anyway, it's just a picture. And uh, so I stained it with some plywood. And stuff. Yeah, plywood. And uh, from there, I just the figure. So I wanted to leave the grain of the wood clear, which is what I did. So it's kind of heavy to the problem there. So, uh, and this is what I end up with. Of course, I'll probably do some more to it. You know, just some touch up. Like what I'm in the process of doing with these dreams here. It's touch up. I don't know how I'm going to. <laughs> how they're going to turn out. But in these ca in the cases, yeah, in these instances here, these are investments. <clears throat> you know, that's what artists do. Quite, artists do quite a bit, quite a bit of investment. Investing. <clears throat> we invest our time and money and skill into projects. You know, it might pay off and it might not. But the main thing is to, uh, you know, doing something that you enjoy doing. Like making love. You, you don't know, you might not, probably won't get nothing but a thrill. But that same thrill is similar to the thrill that you get when you create something. You know, you take a piece of canvas and you see someone, something about them that attracts your interest, you know, usually uh, the way they dress, the way they act, the way they carry themselves. Uh, it could be a number of things. Uh, so it ends up as a painting. Now here, what, what, what inspired me to do this? Well, this young lady here, she inspired me because uh, she's a friend, a fellow artist. And uh, that I know for years, and this was just doing one of our brainstorming. <laughs> you know, we get together artists, and we have a, we do some brainstorming. This is too heavy. I'm gonna move this out of here. Look like an accident, ready to happen. 
<laughs> okay. So that's one there. Now, some paintings you just you gotta you know they are pay off. They are pay because people they are value. Not only to the artist for the thrill that we achieved as you know as an artist, but financially. You know, we can see it, even if not for us, for someone else, maybe a family member or someone who acquired, which is usually the case. The buyers who buy paintings from artists, and especially those who buy a painting directly from an artist, first of all, they have a very unique eye for art. They see things, they see a painting, a work of art that they are willing to invest in, that they are also willing to take to their homes and enjoy for the rest of their life and their family, because the family who inherited will also remember it, you know, and, and enjoy it. And someday someone will come visiting, it could be a friend or a family member or another investor. It's going to come there and they'll see that same picture of painting or work of art. And they're going to enjoy it. And, you know, they, they might, so they're going to bid on it. That's usually the case. And then the, uh, the person who purchased it, the original owner, of course, they're going to name their price, which is going to be more than what they uh, paid for it, and it should be. And, uh, and the buyer, the new buyer, will purchase it and enjoy it as long as they can, as long as they wish to enjoy it. And eventually it goes on and on. And so it ends up, we don't know how much it's going to eventually matter, uh, uh, be worthwhile. So it's like a win-win situation. That's the way I look at it. So it's the way they have it. Well, that's the way I look at art. Speaking for myself, but I'm quite sure that other artists have that same feeling, which is, uh, it, which is something that is a beautiful piece, of, beautiful feeling to inspire you. And the older you get, really, <laughs> the more enjoyment you get, because actually you're reminiscing you know, different scenes and experience that you have had in life. You know, it's like, uh, it's like having that, it's like getting that first hat, uh, getting that, uh, enjoying that first, you know, we spend the rest of our life trying to capture that same uh, orgasm, you know, as we experienced the first time, which never happened. You know, just like using dope. You're trying to, you spend the rest of your life trying to capture this or uh, experience this first high. And it, it, it never happened. You know, so you. you know, bad consequences in the end. Anyway, that's just the way I. Just giving you guys sort of an inside uh, clip. And so from here, I'm going to call it Chris here on that note. So anyway, that's the uh, my preaching for today. My short sermon. It's about 10 minutes and I'll upload this. And Hopefully the next time you see them, they'll be finished. You know, 
because there's no ratio on it. Because no one is actually, uh, you know. All right, so let me get out of here now and get back to work, finish up my, uh, I'm trying to take this off, but I'll, you have my background. Give me a sort of a walk. face, really. <laughs> Gotta make her look happy. Yeah. She's smiling for the camera. For the camera, man. And that's another young lady here. So, I'm trying to situate myself. Okay, so let's check out from here. And Oh, I got one more. I got to show you this one. If I can get to it without breaking my neck. I don't know how this is going to show. Check this out. Oh, and by the way, I claim no ownership to the music. I do not own it. Check that out. This is great. I just framed it today. <clears throat> well, just a few minutes ago. Really. I know she's going to love it. Okay, and here's one here. This is another work in progress here, too. From the image a photo I captured some years ago in West Africa. Yeah. Okay, so let's go, Curtis. Get back to work. You goofed off long enough. Take care, everybody. Have happy holidays and be created. And you know, life is what you make it. So let's deal with it.